Welcome back. Appreciate y'all being here. Bring y'all another episode of The Coffin of Andy and Laylee because this shit's actually kind of gas. I'm enjoying this game for some reason. I didn't think I was actually going to be here continuing to play this. I usually I have a history of games being one and done, but for some reason, I'm really enjoying this. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I felt like, you know what? Let's just keep this shit going and see how far we can go and let's actually enjoy ourselves if you guys haven't already please make sure to like this video down below and subscribe if you haven't already but let me not waste any more of your time let's get into it okay so episode two great what is graves you are finishing up what's left of your lunch the consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you which is nice there's nothing interesting in the paper right I'm not done reading it's been a week the odds that there is something now are non-existent just let me check. Ugh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. Like, goddamn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Ooh, the motel's just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Uh, what? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd, less, you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we can't both constantly be shitting ourselves over every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Where is the motel, though? Okay. Who the fuck are you? Are you looking for something specific? Nah, I just went to shopping. Oh, in that case, may I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? Oh. Uh, Fuck off from there. What? Hey, hey, why are you? A okay. <laughs> See, a potted plant subsists among cigarette birds. See, uh, <laughs> See, if I grab this and come beat your ass with it, fucking bash your head in, you're not going to like that. You're lucky I'm not, not, I'm not a fucking weirdo. Oh, I can I can move around with the WASD keys. I don't know why I was moving around with the fucking. This isn't the room you're staying at. And thank God for that. A future stench wasp from within. Okay, so is it the one upstairs? It is. Where the fuck is the gun? Why is there a bra here on the floor? Hey, get your fat ass out of the way, ass! I think you meant my awesome fat tits. You okay? All right. Move, you cow. Whatever, wanker. Uh, alas, I cannot watch the news off of your fat tits. Would you mind getting out of the way, D system for mine? I am not fat. How could I be after starving for so long? No, you're right, but you're also in the way. Apologize. I'm sorry that you can't understand I'm trying to watch TV. You're so lucky I love you too much to shoot. I appreciate it. And I would appreciate you too if you'd moved a little to the left. You're supposed to say you love me too. I do. Now fuck off. <laughs> There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. Why are brother and sister talking to each other like this? That is weird. I would not be talking about, hey, look, let's, look, listen, listen, that's just me. But personally, I would not be talking about my sister's fat tits. I'm just, I'm just gonna, that's just me though. Hey, <laughs> that's just me. That's just me. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Andrew pretends not to see you or your fat. T why is that? Why is there three different fucking? What is that? Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds, only then to have a panic attack every other night. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Weren't we here for a gun? Closet is empty except for... Oh, there we go. Well, it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. 
Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. Okay. All done. You're welcome. Great. Thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and clean. I'm a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. <laughs> I should have known. Ooh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Going to choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah. You think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. Then you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now some, now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned down the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismatched mess, but better burned to a ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend that you try a Toxy Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavors. Excuse me, sorry. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you meant to say drink our trusty Bubbly Pop, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct test indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, <laughs> they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. I told you it'll all work out. That still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm going to get some sleep. Good night. I'm going to stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. So it yourself. Okay, so which bed is mine? Is it this one? Yeah, it is. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone has entered the room. Who? What? Listen here, you. Against your better judgment, you think Andrew is all that, so you're not leaving without him. Wake up, we've got to go. Huh? Hmm? Get up, I had a vision. We're about to get killed, we've got to go now. Oh, okay, well, we're out of here. You're out of this bitch. You're out of this hoe. You're out of this hoe. You're gone. The park is this way, but there's nothing. What the fuck? Okay, well, well we're out of this hoe. We're out of this hoe. So. Want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? What did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Damn, man. Another one way to blow money. Blow it out of your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your... Oh, whatever, I just skipped it. Okay, Mom. Makes you impotent, too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Ugh, I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? Don't say it out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on! 
Seriously though, I guess there's more from where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, uh, sex, drugs, and party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what that cultist will look like is up to. Fine, you go. But come back soon. You are Andrew. Oh, shit. Solo Bolo. Solo Bolo Doo. Okay, Andrew Solo. Let's get it poppin'. What the fuck? Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the thir third cultist can board. <laughs> Curse you brats. It's asking for a passcode. What? Mixed waste, okay. Recycling point that seems to be double as a smoking area. Cardboard recycling, apparently approved by the devil with the graffiti on the walls, anything to go by. Oh, is it literally just 666? It's literally just 666, isn't it? Of course, of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. This is the, isn't this a section demon party? I hope not, my wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh well, just regular demon summoning. I mean, that's what I was told, but listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. All right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can kick rocks. All right, I'll go, no harm done. Can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... They're just going to kick you out again. Oh, okay. So I just need a... I, I just need a costume. Okay. I'll just buy one. And we'll just cook. All done. Just checking to see if you're dead yet. No one has showed up. Maybe it was a vision for some other night. Though if we were leaving this morning, how could that be? Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. This is the first one ever. But really? I have nothing but nightmares. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to snooping on the cultists. I don't know how to get in, though. They told me to get lost. I need a smoke. Go have it elsewhere. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. Okay, so... Two unemployment offices, one point, what, what? Okay. What do I care about what those clowns are up to anyway? Decided that if a way forward doesn't strike you, strike you before you're done with your smoke, you just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Oh. Incredible. Oh, hello. The driver said a drapery you have ever laid your eyes on. The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. Funds won't work without a swipe tag. Cleaning closet. Nothing worthwhile is inside. There's a crumpled note in the trash. It reads, stop eating my lunch, you animals. Someone has left a note. It reads, to whoever I eat my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. The office life. Same shit, different, different toilet. Lower layer only has paper cups. On the cards this place full of cakes and a coffee dispenser. What's with these cakes? A bit late for a work meeting. The elevator's coming up. Oh shit. 
This is gonna take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be seen instantly. Cool. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Hmm. Colson hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. Alright, how is this cart so much heavier than the other? Could it be? The weight of my sins? No! Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Ahem. Well then everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first, all together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. Why actually someone something on their first try? Well, that's probably not a good thing, is it? I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. I brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Ooh, can we have some now? <sighs> yes, please enjoy yourselves. Oh, shit. Where are your robes? Sorry to think that I spilled some coffee on them. Idiot. Now that you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. Okay, so I can leave now, right? Should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. He's too busy eating cake to care. Wow, someone is underdressed. Cheap ass offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. I thought I've ever drank piss. Well, I'll say something. Did you hear about this gathering in the first place? The occult magazine I subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What well, next time? I thought she didn't like you here. Hee <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a stage. It's like I'm famous. Just begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. It is indeed time to dip. It's, a, it's time to get ghost. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Or are they done? How did the summoning go? Fuck no! Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that get up. Yeah, you can't come in here just like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Uh, good. So let this happen again. Have a good night. All right. Well, we got what we needed. We are out of here. Why is Ashley still standing here? Nothing happened. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah. So there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats, but they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like. Here, a car. It, that's him. That's the guy who saw our throat to my dream. Thanks. He really went in our room just like that. You still doubted me? Where'd he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm even somehow less inclined now. You know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. It's no random burglar. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down, so even after we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. 
Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um, he's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. And he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision. Again. And you know this how? I know because that's what I do. Duh, plus he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question why she's not thought about such <laughs> You question not why she's thought about such things. Now enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere that's conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? <sighs> Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12! You should have stopped me! So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my lead! You are Ashley! Wahoo! Back to Ashley. I wouldn't step forward to kill you yet. Oh, gosh, jolly, Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park, where we may frolic amongst the foliage sealed from sight. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Yes, I would like to save. If I open this... Yep, that's what I thought. Well, congratulations, you have found the Hitman and died, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to coming people up, the Hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Don't give him this romantic streak. He probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. The Hitman wins and, ah uh, yes, the much... The world is much better off without you. However, this is also anticlimactic. You get a free do-over. Okay, well, I'm not going into the cabinet. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Holding the door open from you, are we? Or what a gentleman? Just lighting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. Already did. We are out of here. To the park we go. I knew he was in the closet, but I, I thought we could grab the gun. Wait, doesn't he have the gun now? Is, is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays in the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching our, over our shoulders at all times. What a pain. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it. You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. You've got this. I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait. I've never fired a gun. God, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either, not without letting him know that he's here. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? Why did he stop? Just see what we're up to? Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind us. An idea hits you then. Oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. Off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. You are Andrew. Okay, what the fuck is he? Time is coming to play hide and seek with a killer. And Ashley. There's some bugs in the bush, but not much else. Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute shh? You didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you wanna die? What if he sneaks up on you? Shh, shh, leave! Nothing. Wait, am I gonna die if I find the... There he is. Shoot. Did, is he dead? Nice work. Actually, you're carrying the gun. I knew you had it in you. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. 
Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well, then we could just shoot them too. Don't think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah. What the fuck was that? What was what? You running out of the blue. What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you, you, you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and you kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. <sighs> Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas so that I can tell you off. Back to Ashley. Cool. Fucking my voice is about to die out. Ice cold water always does the trick. Okay, did we just get the fuck up out of here this way? Okay, so we go back to the hotel. Wait, we might need this knife. Let me get that. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Whatever, let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Oh, yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. <sighs> Motherfucker, what for? My driver's license. Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse then. He's fucking dead. He's dead as fuck. Wait, that means we have a car now. We are out of here. Holy fuck. We are out of here. What? There's an envelope with pa various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Miss Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. Yikes. Take the car and go. So where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? We got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Why? Let's go take mom's... For fuck's sake, does everything I say go one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Does he squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't. But I sure can. Oh, no. We still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems they, they assume the guy took care of us, and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents. Great. We just said we can't talk to them again anyway, so they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh, the only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor! My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Ooh, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. We'll be goddamned if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over some, for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. Okay, what do you want? Just to piss me off and you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. 
I know it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, it is. You get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going Andy, Andy until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Laylee's stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well, then it's not funny and you're going to stop. I don't think it's funny to you anymore. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want to get us in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do, though. When <laughs> you're still such a dumbass about it, just drive. Are you angry at looking out for us? Fucking drive, Andy. Drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the... I'm pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time, you feel wide awake. All right, we are now trolling. This is, this is troll. Whatever this is, this is absolutely troll. I don't know what this shit is, but it's troll as fuck. It is troll. What? Who's there? Who are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. Wait, I need something to step on? Can I just go back to sleep? No? Okay. Am I stuck? Am I cooked? Is there a rock somewhere that I need to grab? What What's happening here? There's no other pathways, bro. This is weird. Oh, sick. GG! What the fuck is this? Alright, let's go grab some red flowers then. Summoned you to can't tune it. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. Whatever, I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Alright, where are these red flowers? What in the fuck? Okay, we have a maze. Congratulations, guys. We have a maze. We are fucked. What? Where am I? Everything looks the same. Yeah, but I have the flowers now. So, let's go. What the fuck? Okay. Whatever, it worked. We are out of here. Oh! Well, you just avoided... Well, you just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky. It's you. I summoned you before, right? Human. You've come. Where am I? In a dream. I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have something to you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the love spat you're having with your brother. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future. Ah, yes, the trick you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful, thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. 
Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that was it, then not yours. Tor soul. Is that like an insult, or who's then? Just anybody's? Why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trink dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually, but I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of, I don't know, something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk about this. I will be waiting. Uh, right, all right. I'll see what I can do. So how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, Tarsal. The entity has left. Okay. Give me those. Give me those. Let's cook some shit up. Oh. Wow, I need more. Oh. Easy. I'm gone. The door is decorated with red flowers, man. Hold on, nah. I don't know which one is the okay. Let's do the let's do the eyes. Holy fuck! Never mind. There's no door and no way to return. I'm fucked. I'm cooked. It's over for me. I'm so cooked. Whatever this is, it looks unfinished. Okay. How the fuck do I get back? What? Where even am I? Oh, I was like, what? Okay. Sick. Did I do it? Did I cook? Tar soul. Well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh, up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demon realm. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm on summon will result in your death. Huh, so it's fine as long as you are summoned. So why not summon me to your realm? Why not summon me here in this crap land instead? Return home, Tar soul. I am expecting no souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then not show it to me. Return now. Uh, where am I now? Oh, this is so tiresome. I've had it up to here with these stupid flowers. Um. I feel like I'm not supposed to be doing this. Ah! Ashley? It is at you. Hell, give me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something. Help me. Uh, oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Uh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something. Mom and dad should be at work right now. So whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way that you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think it was pretty fucking lenient with you. <sighs> so anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley in his home sweet home invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Was definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo, no thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> and I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. 
Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and dad live somewhere down this slope. Free parking, GG. All right, which way are we going? I'm gonna say this way. Holy shit, there's, this can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place too. What's her last name anyway? What do you mean, what's her last name? The name placed on the doors. They go with dad's name or mom's. Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know, to throw us off. You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just the feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Grayson. Smiths. Ugly Van McHideous. Ah, here we go. Don't just knock and no one comes open the door. All right, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. I'm assuming this is gonna be the way in right here. Yeah. Come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. Wait, that's free food. A stick. Wait, they got, they got like carrots and shit. Potatoes. You grow some scrumptious carrots. The back door is locked. Check under the flower pot. There's fuck all. <laughs> there is fuck all under the flower pot. One of the planks is loose. Oh, let me get that so I can break this fucking window. Wait, let me get that stick, yeah? Okay. Okay, well. Your parents are Ashman's. Okay, this is, this is a little bit of a weird uh, puzzle here. There's fuck all under the flower pot. Door's locked. There's a plank loose. Get carrots. Tasty onions. Palatable potatoes. Okay, I'm confused now. Oh wait, there's an open window. Am I tweaking? I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. So then you come over here and you grab this fucking plank and then you come over here and you put it up against this window. And now you climb this bitch. It's still too high, lift me up. Oh, no good, it's open, but held in place by a lash that's on the other side of the window. My fingers can't reach to unhook it. I'll push you up after you open the latch. You're just looking for an excuse to touch my... Okay, two things. First of all, no. Secondly, I, like I need an excuse. Now hurry up and find something before I slap you. On my ass or the face? That, my lady, I'll let you find out. So it's the face. Fine. I'll find something to unhook the latch with. This is... This is incest. This is wincest. Incest. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the window, not open window. Mm -hmm. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open that door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong, try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes, to think you'd open a door such swiftly, in such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. There are but a few words that I use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there's something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation's kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. Fucking the kitchen at. You don't even want to know what your parents have been to up on this bed. 
Ew. Okay. They are tweaking. All right. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go find the kitchen. No water comes out. Cutting board. The pot is empty. Cooking book. Dish rack in a blender. Where the fuck the money at? A fireplace? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yes. This is some rich people shit. Who has a fireplace inside the house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in the older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. Washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Dirty laundry. Right at the top since some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. Mom and dad been in here porking and shit. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. On the table lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Metal box full of screwdrivers with a dresser key. The floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. Excellent quality mop. Truly, this is a stellar mop. Your parents have lived here for only a few months, yet they somehow managed to hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. Money's clearly no longer an issue, and the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. There's a fucking kid here, huh? Where the fuck did Andrew go? It's the phone your mother never calls you with. Our parents seem to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more. I don't think I will. But now it makes sense why mom kept hassling us to move out. Can't find the key. Oh, yeah, I have it. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There is no sign of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the fuck is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They should be home yet. You consider shooting whichever parent just came in, but you can't offer the souls of the dead, so you hold on to that idea. Is someone there? Hi mom, it's just us. Welcome home, Andrew. What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with these groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Let's all make some coffee. He's putting away groceries. Brew some coffee. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Hmm, interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now, neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? The mom's fucking look is... Where'd you get the money from for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Huh, I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. That was probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame I actually didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. 
And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk about your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Oh, boy, I can't hear that. Can't wait to hear how Dad's been. He must have been all kinds of stories about preparing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix you something. I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. Somehow your burglary attempted to death with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something. Smooth talker you. Alright, well, I got a cookbook. You browse the cookie book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. Alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Or it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Simple soup. Meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil into a pot. I need to go get the fucking... How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languish in our apartment. And he makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. Just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure something out. All right. You get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can't tell. You can tell whatever it is is going to start an argument. So you leave her be for now. Cool. Oh, wait. Your mom's purse. Just curious, did you use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes. Why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. <laughs> Alright, you can't take this anymore. Actually, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you, but first you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? You're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself, but since you won't, let me spell it out for you. You have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge their clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really? Are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. That was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Okay. Can't be none. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing. Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? We're surely not the two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Even then, surely the poor grave ceilings perish in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we've not only alerted them where we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. What makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there's no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful, but when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. So hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay, listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. 
I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember you agreeing to bury Andy and Laylee. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with Mommy and Daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly, you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew's all you'll get. Now, this isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we at least have the means to stay safe. I get that, but if we leave quietly, there's be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her shit mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. <clears throat> what are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've got any friends you can go stay with? Oh. There's enough space in this house. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after all our earthy possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you take the couch. All right, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so you are under my roof right now. You will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh, sleep now or get out at once. Tend to go to bed until your friends fall asleep. Yo, Editor Nima here. This video ended up being way too long, like insanely long. So I gotta split it into two parts. If you guys like this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next part or the next episode, basically, of this series. I'm out of here. Appreciate y'all for being here. Y'all be easy.